The next thing I want to talk about is evidence and truth and Dawkins comes across as if he's preaching truth and I'm defending the truth and the truth is the evidence and he has the evidence and he doesn't have any evidence at all to substantiate his position and yet the evidence for the Christian faith is there the evidence that Jesus died on the cross is there Dominic Crossan who's a, a more of a skeptical biblical scholar says that Jesus died on a cross is one of the most ancient attested uh, facts in history excuse me every uh, most scholars uh, believe that Jesus was buried in an empty tomb by Joseph of Arimathea and we have good historical sources to substantiate that we have four documents of the Gospels whether you agree with the Gospels or whether you say the Gospels are biased there are four sources that tell us that uh, Jesus was buried in an empty tomb and also we have the fact that most scholars would agree that they believe that the early church saw visions of Jesus now we can argue what those visions were but it's a basic fact the scholars would agree with that and you have biblical evidence uh, extra evidence outside the Bible of Jesus dying and Jesus being a historical figure near the time of Jesus so there's evidence there to get your teeth into to discuss and think about Jesus and his resurrection so there is evidence so when Dawkins is talking about truth and that he believes in truth well actually he presumes that he's got evidence and he hasn't got evidence for his position but the Christian faith has strong evidence what do you think <laughs>